Hello, my name is Wilberforce Bezude of City Church International. I am so, so happy to connect with you today. May God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. I believe that God is going to touch us today. He's going to speak to us. And uh, our lives will not remain the same because of his word. His word is truth to us. And everything we do, we do because we know that God loves us. And today I'm going to talk to you about the unfailing love of God. Let us start by reading Isaiah 43, Isaiah 43, verse 22 to verse 25. The Bible says, but you have not called upon me, O Jacob, and you have not, and you have been weary of me, O Israel. You have not brought me the sheep for your burnt offerings, nor have you honored me with your sacrifices. I have not caused you to serve with grain offerings, nor wearied you with incense. You have bought me no sweet cane with money, nor have you satisfied me with the fat of your sacrifices." But you have burdened me with your sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities. I, even I, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake. And I will not remember your sins. Now, when you look at these verses, you see God pleading with his unfaithful people. Now, these people sinned against God and offended him to the deepest. But you see, when he's talking to them, it's amazing that instead of them coming to God with their offerings to offer to him and ask for forgiveness and ask him to forgive them, God says here that you have burdened me with your sins. Instead of them bringing uh, love offerings and sin offerings and ask him to forgive them, they brought their sins instead. Now, this shows clearly that you and I, we have nothing to offer to God. We have nothing to give to God for forgiveness of sins. We are empty. The only thing we have with us is our sin, disease, pain, poverty, sorrow, brokenness, emptiness. We have nothing. And that's why God is welcoming us the way we are, because we have nothing. We are empty. And God says, come to me the way you are. And he says, he finishes in verse 25 by saying, I... Even I, it is him who blots out your transgressions for my own sake. And I will not remember your sins. He will not remember your sins because you are good. He will not remember your sins because he's a good God. It is not because of what you've done for him or what you have uh, brought to him or how much good you are to God, but because God is good to you. And I'm talking to you about the unfailing love of God. I, I don't know where you are right now, and I don't know what is happening in your life, but I'm telling you the love of God will never fail you. Because God is not expecting anything from you. What God wants you to do is to put your trust in him. And trust that God loves you. He cares for you. He wants to heal you. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to give you a good life. He wants to take you from where you are to where you're supposed to be. He wants to take you from your worst to his best. Not because you are good, but because God is good. What you need to do right now, at your worst, in your pain, in your sin, in your brokenness, to put your trust in God and trust him that he love you and his love will never fail you. The unfailing love of God. So it, it's amazing that instead of them bringing sin offerings to God at, at the altar to repent, pleading 
for repentance, they brought their sin to God. Now, God knows that you have nothing to offer. God knows where you are. God knows your weaknesses. God knows that you as a human being, you have nothing to offer to him. He's the one to offer to you. So don't hide your brokenness. Don't hide yourself. Don't run away from God. Come like you are. Go to him. Trust him that he will heal you. He will fill you. Don't run away from God. God knows that you have nothing to offer to him. All you have is your sin, your transgressions, your iniquity, your addictions, your brokenness, your poverty, your sickness, your fear, your bitterness, and so forth. There's nothing else you have. And God knows that. God knows. I'm saying God knows. I'm talking to you right now, and I'm saying God knows you. God knows you. He knows you. He knows you. He knows you. He knows your secret tears. You know when you go to your bed and no one sees you. During the day you play strong. But when you go to your bed, your pillow knows the tears you cry. I'm saying God knows those tears and God knows that you are unable to help yourself. You are unable. You are unable. You are unable and you have nothing and you're empty and you, you have disease and you have sin and you're full of bitterness and fear. And God says, for my own sake, for my own sake, I will heal you. For my own sake, I forgive you. For my own sake, for my own sake, I heal your disease. God loves you. So we have so many people in Christianity today who are keeping on playing strong before God and trying and trying and trying and trying and trying all they can to make him happy. Thinking that when they do good things, God will love them and God will heal them and God will forgive them. It is not what you do. It is what God has already done for you. It is not what you give. It is what God has already given. God has come to you. God loved you before you loved him. And God knows the reason why he came to you and he gave you his begotten son because he knows that you are empty and helpless. I'm talking about the unfailing love of God no matter where you are, no matter how you feel today. I'm talking about the unfailing love of God. God is able to take your sickness away today. God is able to remove that cancer from your body. God is able to remove that tumor from you. God is able to forgive your sin. God is able to take you from where you are. God is able to give you a new job and give you promotion. God wants you to live a good life. He knows that without him, you are unable. And that's why he says, it's me now. It's me in picture. I, even I, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake. And I will not remember your sins. So do not give up. Bring what you have. Don't give up. Don't give up on your life. Don't give up. Bring what you have. You see, it is when you bring what you have that you can receive what God has for you. The only thing you have is brokenness, emptiness. Bring that very emptiness to God. The only thing you have is sin. Bring that very sin to God. The only thing you have is disease. Bring that very disease to God. When you bring what you have, God gives you what he has. Praise God. Praise God. When you bring what you have, God gives you what he has. Turn with me to Titus. Titus chapter 3. Verse 3. For we ourselves were also once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But when the kindness, when the kindness among all these things, when we're doing all these things, disobedient, deceived, serving our own lusts, serving our own pleasures, 
living in malice, envy, hateful, hating one another, among all these dirty things, bad things. The Bible says, but when the kindness and the love of God, our Savior toward man, appeared, verse 5, not by works, not by works, not by works, God is kindness and God is love did not appear to mankind because of our works. It is because of God's grace and love and mercy and kindness but not by works of righteousness, which we have done. But according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. It's, it's not your deeds, it's not your good works or works of righteousness that causes God to remove your sin and causes God to heal you. It is not what you do. God, God loves you. You are healed because he loves you. You are saved because he loves you. And today, your life changes because God loves you. Just receive the love of God. Hebrews 8, Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12 says, Hebrews 8 verse 12 the Bible says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. You see, what you have is unrighteousness. He says, to their unrighteousness, because they have no righteousness. All they have is unrighteousness, unrighteousness, unrighteousness. All they have is unrighteousness, and he says, and their sins, that's all you have, unrighteousness. You have sins. And their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. These things that we have, God says, I have removed them and I will remember them no more. Not because you're good, but because he's good. Not because you're loving, but because he's loving. Not because of your righteousness, because of his righteousness. He has taken your sins. He, he, he who did not sin became sin so that you can become the righteousness of God. It is an exchange. You bring what you have. <laughs> and he gives you what, you what he has. So if you're sick today, you need healing. Give him your sickness. He's going to heal you today. If you are not born again, give your life to God. And he's going to give you his own life. If you are in luck, I want you to know that he became poor, not for himself. He became poor so that you can become, the, you become, you become rich. He became poor so that you can become rich. He did not become poor for himself. He loves you so much. And that's our God. That's our God. And I want to pray with you as we end this broadcast. I want to pray with you. I want to believe God with you. That as you bring what you have, he gives you what he has. Pray with me. Pray after me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your unfailing love. You are faithful to me even when I'm not faithful. You never fail me even when I fail you. Thank you for dealing with me in mercy. I am humbled by your love. I will worship you and live for you always. Amen. Amen. And if you are not born again and you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repeat after me. Dear Lord, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Today, I believe that you are the son of God. You came from heaven and died for me. You died on that cross, buried in Joseph's tomb. And on the third day, you rose from the dead. You are now sitting at the right hand of the Father. Today, I receive you and I believe you with all my heart. Come and be the Lord of my life. I confess with my mouth that I am saved. 
Amen. You are now born again. If you are around Stockholm area, come and visit us. Come and be here with us. Come and uh, meet us. We are waiting to see you. Loving people are here waiting for you. And those of you that are watching, if you ever come to Stockholm, come and visit us. Loving people are here. They would like to love you and, and, and bless you when you come. If you have no church, come and be part of us. Come and be part of our church. May God bless you. Let me pray for you if you are sick and, and if you have pain in your body and if the, the, there are things in your life that you want to give to God. Just touch where you feel the pain, touch where your disease is. If you have an issue in life, just raise up your hands where you are and trust God with me that God is taking what you have and is giving you his own life, Zoe life, nothing broken and nothing missing. In the name of Jesus, I command every disease to leave you. Cancer, I command you to leave. Every tumor, I command you to die. Every disease, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Everyone watching me right now, be healed. Be set free from that pain. Be set free from that disease. Receive your healing. Pain, I command you to leave her body, leave his body. Cancer, I command you to go. Tumors, I command you to dry right now. Every infirmity, be removed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your healing power. In Jesus' name. I pray for your job. I pray for your marriage. I pray for your children. I pray for favor. I pray for increase. I pray for prosperity in every area of your life. Let there be increase in your life. May you live a good life with God. May you start a new journey with Jesus. Nothing missing and nothing broken. May God bless you so much. God bless you and thank you very, very much for connecting with us here today. Again, you are welcome to City Church International right here in the heart of Stockholm. God bless you.